you know, the NFL's not an exact science. You have guys who are uh, basketball players who have become all pro, all everything tight ends. You have track stars who hadn't played much football since high school and they go knock it out at a pro day and they get a chance and they're on a team. The LSU Pro Day is pretty much a production. You see all 32 teams represented. Your lottery is your pro day. For LSU players, that's their lottery. They can either hit it big or not hit it big. A pro day in general is the time and place where the athletes who were not invited to the NFL Combine get to showcase their talents. It's part of your job interview to reach the NFL. You're in your element, you're at your school, you're going through some of these drills with familiar players as opposed to when you're going to the scouting combine, it's all the prospects from all different schools. So this gives them the chance to not only train a little bit longer, but to have them in a more comfortable environment to be able to go through the same type of drills and testing that they would at the combine. If you totally bomb out in pro day, it's gonna hurt you. Now, as far as, do you have game film that people can lean back on? I'd say yes. So, for example, Arden Keith. Did his 40-yard dash, being that it was a slow time, completely drop him off the map? No, because there is game film of him, and of course they're playing football, they're not running around in shirts and shorts on the field. A year ago, we were talking about Arden Key and Darius Geis being top 10 picks, and, and Dante Jackson was kind of an afterthought. And really, in the pro day circuit, and the visit circuit, he was able to bump his stock and amazingly enough, he was the top LSU player taken in the draft and no one was saying that a year ago. Well, he couldn't hurt himself. We knew he was gonna run faster. You know, he came back here, trained, and we got him prepared and ready to go. So we knew that he wouldn't run any slower than what he did at the combine. We actually expected him to go a little bit faster, but he still went faster all in all. And it's just something, when it comes to stuff like that, it's something that the athlete wants to prove to himself that I can do this. Dante is an absolute competitor and he wants to do the very best he can. And Dante is competing against Dante. If he runs a time that he doesn't like in the 40, Dante is like, okay, I've got to do better than that other Dante. In these pro days, if you are trying to convert to football, you need these pro days because no one sees you play football. You've got to be able to show some ability of technique, speed, the measurables that you need to play in the game. Really, this is the most important day for you in the entire process because you have no game film. He started here a little earlier. He started here in January. His process has been phenomenal as well. He had an amazing pro day. He, uh, he ran the same time as Dante Jackson. They both ran 431 on paper. So he did lights out throughout his drills, had a really good bench press, so a really good vertical. So he really went out and showed that he can do more than just run in a straight line. So he's up there at the Seahawks. They really like him up there, man. He's giving, he's giving those defensive backs a run for their money. So hopefully he continues it up because I'd love to see him on 53 man because he'll fit. LSU had seven players drafted, eight free agents. And the seven players drafted were good, uh, nobody, nobody ended up in the first round, they, they probably should have, but when one of their guys gets drafted and hits it big, it's like a, a, a notch in their gun belt, like, got that one right. 